Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In the previous video, I have shown you that how can you log in as an admin. Now you can see here that this is my MongoDB and these are all the registered users in my website. This is the combination of all the registered users and the registered admin in my website. So if you want to know that how can you log in as an admin in your website, then you can watch my previous videos. Now in this video, I will fetch all these users data to my admin screen and show it here. So what will I do? I will first create the Node.js API, which will fetch all the users data and store it in the response. And that response will be received by our react app. And we will show that users data to this screen inside the table. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay. You can see here that if my user type is admin, then I am displaying this message. Otherwise I am redirecting it to user home component. So let me just create a new component name as admin home. I will just go to user home, copy this, paste it here. The name is at admin home. Delete this. Yeah. Okay. And instead of this message, now I will be showing here that admin home. So now whenever admin will log in, he will be redirected to this component. Let's see whether it is working. Okay, it is coming, but I think there is something wrong with the layout. Let's see. Oh yes, I remember I have made the changes in the layout. Like I have removed these two class from here and added it individually to each component. I think now it should do our job okay. So now let me just show a message here. Okay, let's test this out. So if I'm logged in as admin, yes, it is now redirecting to this page. Now let me just create the table. Okay, so my table will have this five columns. Let's see. Okay, it is good, but I think uh, let's try by giving it width. I will give it here. Width of 500. Let's see how it goes now. Okay, it is good. Now let me just give here also. Width is auto. So I think it should do our job. Yeah, now it is fine. Now we are done here. Now let's go to our Node.js code and just create an API to fetch all the users data. So you can see here that I have already made the connections to the MongoDB. I have already created the schema and this is my collection name user info. And you can see here that I have imported it and also I have stored my collection in this variable. So now let me just quickly make the API. I will be using get method because I am only getting the data. The API name will be get all user. So I will use try and catch block. You can just console dot log error. Now here I will just create a new variable name all user is equals to this is my variable where my data is stored like my collection is stored and I am going to use this find method provided by the MongoDB. This will find all the users data. Okay, so like whatever users data it will find it will store it in this variable also. Don't forget to use await because it may take time. Now I will just send this data to our front end. 
okay so my api is ready now let's just check it out because it is a get method we can also check it in our browser we have to just go to the port you have hosted your node.js server and after that write the name of the api so you can see here that our api name is get all user so if i write like this i will get all the data so you can see that the status is okay and we are getting all the data now let's just fetch this data in our front end and show it inside the table here i will create use effect okay let me just copy some part I will just delete all this. There is no need. Here we have to write our get all user API name method will be get here I am using then okay. It's so like my fetch function is also ready. Currently, it is consoling the data. We can just do like this so that the use effect will only run once. Let's let's check it out. You just see in console. Okay, so you can see here that user data is coming and it has nineteen data. Okay, now let's just display it inside the table. Now here. Okay, before that we have to set the data inside the state. So I will create a new state. And I will set data here. Data dot data. Now here I will just map that data. We just return. One row inside that will be td. Here I will just write i dot f name. So you can see here that my users have f name, l name, email, and user type. So I am not fetching l name. Other than that, I am fetching everything. So td. Let's see. And you can see here that I am getting the list of all the users registered in my website. So you can see that how easy it is to fetch all the users from MongoDB and show it inside the table in our React app. Now let me just verify it that data is properly coming or not. So for that, I will do logout and I will log in as user. So you can see that yes, user is reacting to this screen. Now I will log in as admin. So now I should be reacted to the screen where all the users should be displayed. And you can see that yes, it is working fine. Now in the next video. What will I do? I will create an API which will give admin the right to delete any user from his website. Let me know in comments whether your code is running or not. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.